like can't be operating at this different level and be thankful and grateful because I found Charlie Ward like in the very beginning, mm-hmm. in Same. the very yeah. beginning. And I just went, oh, my God, look at this man. <laughs> <laughs> and what he was saying and I'm going like, Oh, my God. And my daughter had said to me many, many years ago about how how our birth certificates are owned and how mm-hmm. how these, these people up in Venice, right, yeah. um, are trading us on the stock exchange. And I went, what? What? And, I mean, that was her, like, many, many years ago. Yep. Yeah, it's it's unbelievable. It's like the more the more you see, you you can't unsee it. Once once you, you can't unsee, you can't unsee. No, so you can't unsee. No, unbe- the uh, unbelievable what yeah. what they've been able to do to our brains. Hello, everybody. Welcome to a awesome, incredibly, I'm so honored, special edition of Esoteric Atlanta. I have one of my favorite human beings in the whole world here to bring to you today, Tamara down in Australia. It's early in Atlanta. It's late for her in Australia. And I I am so honored. This beautiful lady helped me so much get through the struggles starting last year, almost, well, actually over a year, we've been in this, this mess globally. And I was just telling her before we started, I hope I don't get emotional because the things that you say are so impactful. You have such a way of saying things that just help people get through this. And, and, um, as we were just saying, all of us on this side of the playing field really need each other and really needed to support each other because we're the ones trying to bring the truth and trying to help other people as our favorite military back channel says where we go one we go all all. so we all have to stay stick together and i'm so excited to have tamara here um so let's just get started so is there anything you want to tell my audience before we get started about yourself i I just want to say hello gorgeous girl (laughs) i mean i was just you know like i was just so blown away i rang my girls because i've got all of my team you know and it's like, and they have been amazing because through lockdown and everything else, we called ourselves the rabbits because we we're down the rabbit hole yep. and we actually we actually had a rabbit dinner. So one of the girls bought us rabbit ears. So we all sort of sat in this restaurant with rabbit ears on. You know? <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, you know, but it's like I say to the girls, you know, like you've got to be, you've got to be a bit, a bit crazy, you know, in order to deal with all of this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's been, it's been such an amazing, amazing trip. And like, and the same as you, like I got connected to Charlie Ward, like right back in the beginning. And I just go, God bless that man Mm -hmm. because he gave me and like an all of my group um, just the the most wonderful, centred, grounded feeling of we're going to be okay. Yeah. We're going to be okay. And like, and even I was watching something tonight that had, um, uh, that had Charlie with, um, with Mel, uh, with, uh, what's his, what's his name? Rodriguez. David Nino. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and, uh, and Simon Parks. Yeah, but it's like and there's all the talking going on and Charlie just sat there and Charlie just said, and they said, well, you know, like, what do you think? And he goes, we're just experiencing and watching the most wonderful pantomime. <laughs> you know, and, this, and this is what I keep on saying to people, you know, and like gorgeous, gorgeous Mel Kay is going and this is going on and that's going on and do you believe this and do you believe that? And Charlie just goes... And we're just viewing this wonderful pantomime, you know, and he keeps on bringing it back. 
Two, this is all being staged mm -hmm. to wake people up. Mm -hmm. It's all being staged to wake people up, yeah? Yeah. yeah and I said to, you know, some of the girls in my group because they went through a very, very challenging time because they tried to wake people up and I said to them, listen, all right, you're listening to me? Are you listening? They're going, yes, Mara. I said, just shut up. <laughs> and they went, what? I said, shut up. I said, just be, just be. You've got the awareness. You've got the energy of the awareness. And I said, and those who want to know will be attracted to you because of your awareness, but they'll also be attracted to you because you'll put things out on your social media Mm -hmm. that are like I repost people and I go, uh, hello in capital letters, six exclamation marks, or I go, what the? <laughs> and six question marks, or OMG, four exclamation So I am saying nothing. That's what I do. And it's it actually it invites people in so gradually 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 people around me that read my posts gradually they're waking up mm -hmm. i'm not going out there and trying to shove anything down anybody else's throat right because as i say to the girls i go they will buck mm -hmm. they will buck you will not get the the response that you are actually wanting Mm -hmm. And so they're, oh, I've lost my friends, I've lost this, I've lost that, I've got da, da, da. And I go, yeah, okay. And I go, well, like, what about me? I put in, I put for Australia, M-A-G-A. -A. Mm -hmm. And I got a response from some people and they go, you're not a Trump supporter, are you? <laughs> and I go, why? Why, why are you asking me? Well, M-A-G-A. -A. I go, yeah, make Australia great again. And they went, and they went, oh, well, I would suggest that you don't use anything that comes out of that man's mouth because people are going to get the wrong impression and think that you support him, you're behind him, whatever. And I go, whatever it is that I do, whoever it is that I support, it's none of your business. And then what did I do? Delete. Just block them. Yep. Just going through and just going through and just blocking because what I've been teaching like for the past 30 years in my Born to be Free seminar, on, oh, oh, on the 28th of March, I presented my Born to be Free seminar for the first time in 12 months. Oh, good. oh my God, we had the best time, the best time, <laughs> the best time. And I stood there and I said, right, I said, I'm not going to get into a whole lot of different things with you all, but what I'm going to say to you is this, wake up, wake up. Don't think that the Victorian government, the Australian government, people that are running huge, big organisations, drug companies, et cetera, are concerned about you. No, they're not at all. <laughs> I said they don't care. They don't care about you at all. Mm -mm. And I said, and it's been really great for me because I have stopped listening to the news mm -hmm. and I have stopped reading newspapers. And I said, so I said, my team, I said, my team at the back, they all know about something that I say in Born to be Free, and I'm going to share that right now with your all of your viewers. Oh, hi, viewers. Um, <laughs> uh, it's just a very, very simply cancel, cancel. So, yes, yes. so it's like when you hear a negative, because, you know, you, you're out there in the world, You'll hear people saying certain things, yeah? Mm -hmm. And it's just to say to yourself, cancel, 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 yeah? Okay. And if I've, because like I'm, I'm watching television, but I'm watching like home renovations, mm -hmm. you know, 
Um, I love. I, I just love love it all. List at Vancouver. Oh, yeah. I love those guys. Yeah. So I watch that. But there'll be like an ad that will come in, or um, like a news blast, and immediately I just sort of like, nope, nope. I just jump on to the next one. Or if something is being said, I'm just walking around the house going la 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 just la la to myself so that therefore I'm not hearing what is being said. In that cancel, that was one thing that you said last year with Nicholas, and I've been using that when I have. Isn't it awesome? It's oh. awesome. I, when I'm on the freeway, yeah. when I see some, when I anywhere, when I'm out, you know, luckily mm-hmm. for me, when I'm home all day doing esoteric Atlanta, I'm with like-minded people. And then when you have to step back into the matrix to just go get some bread at the store or whatever, it's just yeah. being able to not let that penetrate your, your vibration and, ke- and keep you because they want to tear it. I mean, they're, they're putting that stuff out to bring you back down. Um, that's right. so uh, that, that cancel that's, I, I, I laugh and say, I'm big into yoga. I'm like, that's my mantra. Cancel. <laughs> I, love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. My but like in the house, I'm just like, I'm walking around, you know, and I thought just as well, I live on my own because I'm like, la, la, la. <laughs> <laughs> like it's just like it's a hoot isn't it but like we were saying before it's to be awake mm-hmm. and then to step out and having to work having to go out and be with like in the everyday world has a like it's very very interesting but it's like you know like when When Charlie was saying, well, you know, like we're going into this level, we're going into like this different level, and I thought, right, this is what it is. It's like we're at the the level of I call it awareness, yeah? Mm -hmm. So I don't go, oh, are you 5D? (laughs) It's like, hello, you know, 5D, 3D, you know, like give me a break. Right, you're either in that, that level of awareness or you're asleep. Mm -hmm. So to be at the level of awareness and having to go and to function in the world with those who are asleep is like, it's very difficult. It's a, it's a difficult one and it's draining. I get, I get, I get very, I get very tired if I'm going, if I go out and I'm out and I'm around people, I come home, I'm exhausted, Mm -hmm. absolutely exhausted. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Total same. Well, I have a question for you. So like, I'll use my awesome parents as an example. My, my parents are um, in their 60s. They, um, they, they are supporters of Trump because they are Republican. Um, and they, they, we talk to them a lot about stuff. And they're like half, they, they're half aware, but there's still a lot of programming there. And like on Monday, I was at lunch with my mother. And there's a, a sadness about her because half of the stuff with like the Biden administration, she thinks is like real and that we're just doomed. Um, even though she, she's like, she knows the bad stuff going on, but she can't understand that this is all, she doesn't understand why we just don't, if, 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 you know, the good guys are in control and it's a pantomime, why don't they just go ahead and fix it? And I tried to explain, you know, it's like waking someone up slowly. They have to show you, you can't be told the truth. You have to learn it. Um, so what would your advice be with people, you that other people watching with people in their lives that they love that are having a really hard time um, at this moment because they just see darkness ahead. They don't see, they, they haven't stepped back enough to actually see exactly what's happening. Oh, look, it's like, that's, like it's a that it's hard it's you know it really really is a hard a hard one um you know I'm just saying to people look all you can do is work on yourself Mm -hmm. get yourself being as strong as possible as clear as possible because have a guess what it's like they're going to need your support yeah they are they are going to need your support yeah, but to try to get them because of like, you know, my, you know, the, my big love and what I've been doing for 30 years, um, apart from doing my soul reading charts for 40 years, but 30 years ago, I started my Born to be Free seminar work. Yeah. And that's all about deprogramming. Yeah. And somebody said to me the other day, they went, this is why 
this is why you've been doing this. You have been doing this for 30 years to prepare people, to yeah. prepare them because, you know, like Born to Be Free is dealing with like clearing all of the fears and all of the negative beliefs that we take in in our formative years, birth to the age of 10, that are then reinforced as we do our journey through life. So when you're looking at somebody like your mother um, who is that age? So if we take, if we go back to when she was like, like a little girl, mm -hmm. and what her programming was like, like you know, it's like we've got like, with like, like, like her parents would have believed in the doctor. Well, the doctor knows. Well, her. Or, you know, well, that's like, the or, like or the priest. You know, like yeah. you know, but any you you go you go to the priest. Well, you my know, like. My mom's these family, are, these, all, these, yeah, these are like God. You listen, yeah. you listen to them, yeah? My so, grandfather was a surgeon. He was a doctor. Oh, well, there you go. And that's been hard. Like, she understands that the, the cure, that I can't say it on YouTube, that mm -hmm. is not mm -hmm. good. But that whole deconstruction of her dad was a part of this. But my grandfather, who died in the 80s, on his deathbed told his colleague, that he was upset about the direction that medicine was going. He could see yeah. what was happening. He could see yeah. what Big Pharma was doing. And That's so right. there's a lot of gray there. And it's like, it, I think it's that like, well, if this is bad, then that means he was bad. And it's like, no, no, no. not at all. The most, no. most people get into medicine to help, you That's know, right. it, it's, it's, but it's that it's, you're right. It's yeah. that whole like MK ultra from the very mm -hmm. beginning of, education mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. is just got, and I know you made a uh, with Blast Nicholas's show you made an example of like the jug of water 90% full of water with the mm -hmm. human brain and the 10% we use and the 90 I mean it was just such a great analogy of that how mm -hmm. like Charlie Ward repeats things all the time it's because that's how we learn and that's yeah. what our schools did to us they yes. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, like, and whatever goes in from birth to the age of 10, it does have a power of 90% and it rules and runs us. It's like an automatic pilot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So even though consciously you'll go, I want to do this, automatic pilot goes, no, sorry, we're going in this direction. <laughs> yeah. And you'll be trying to steer your aeroplane and getting it going in this direction because that's where you want to go. No, no, it keeps on going back, keeps on going back to this direction. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So like when you like when you get that and you understand that um, and then deprogram, then then you're free. Right. You're free. And then that then allows you to be a lot more open and a lot more discerning to what other people would go. No way. That is not happening at all. Right. To, but hold on a moment, you know, because once you once you deal with your fears and your neg negative beliefs, then you've got this direct link in to like your gut feelings. And I say to people, your gut feelings is your message from God. Mm -hmm. That's God communicating with you. So if you don't get a good feeling, listen to it. Right. Listen to it because it is always spot on. And then, like, my clients will say to me, well, what's the difference between a fear and a gut feeling? And I go, easy, a fear makes sense, a gut feeling doesn't. Yeah, like something, something that just doesn't feel right, yeah? Now, one thing that the girl said for me to share with you was some visions that I got. Yes, please do, please do. This is like, this is really interesting. So I did a tune in um, probably like in the first instance, like not long into, into Charlie's and Charlie said something about Hollywood and I worked there, yeah, mm -hmm. and I was um, approached by the company that made Anthony Robbins that launched him, yeah, and I went over because I've spent a lot of time in um in, in LA, in Hollywood, and it's like, and they, I had the meeting with them and they said, right, so this is how all of this is going to go and this and this and this and this and this. So then it got to actually signing on the dotted line and they changed, they changed a clause in the contract and that would have meant that I would have been out of integrity. And I said, no, I'm not signing that. 
Good I'm for not you. signing it. That's 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 not the agreement. That's not what we agreed on. And they said, "Well, this is the way that it has to be." And I said, "Well, I'm not signing it." And they went, "Well, we've spent all of this time going through and putting this legal document together." And I said, "Yes." I said, "I understand that." However, you changed the, a clause. Mm -hmm. And I said, and you didn't consult me about it, yeah? If you had have, I would have said to you, forget about it and don't even set up the, you know, the contract. And they looked at me and they said, well, what are you going to do? And I said, I'm going home to Australia. That's what I'm going to do. And they looked at me and they went, you are walking away from millions of dollars, and I said, I am walking away with my integrity intact. Yeah? Yeah. Anyway, so when Charlie was talking about Hollywood and I went, wow. So I did, I did a, a meditation and I tuned in and it was really bizarre. And I actually sent this in a text message to a lot of the celebrities that I know over there, yeah? And... Um, and I said to them, I go, look, I did a tune-in, but I'm not quite sure exactly what it is that I saw because it really doesn't make a lot of sense to me. However, I saw a lot of very wealthy people in very expensive cars and they were all dressed up to the nines and the cars were going up and dropping them off and there was a fence and it was like bars. And I said, and all of these people were lined up behind these bars and at their feet were red stones like rubies. And I said, you know, does this make any sense? And this was before I even learned about adrenochrome. Mm -hmm. Does this make sense? At all? Like, yeah, did I get any answers? No. Right. <laughs> No answers, yeah. I said, because obviously I said it's got something to do with the red stones are like rubies, so that will be something to do with wealth. And I said, and they're being put behind bars because of something that's like worth a lot of money, you know, or there's something to do with a lot of money. So that was that, yeah. Mm -hmm. So then um, one of the girls asked me to do a tune in to Washington. Yeah, and it was like, and it was after the election, okay, after the election. And I went, yep, cool. So I did a tune in and I, what I saw was um, a fence, like a high fence around the White House. I saw military people walking around. Then I saw... Um, a white, a big, like, white building with, like, a big dome. And then in front of the building, facing away from the building, was a stretch limousine. And sitting in the stretch limousine with his back to the building was Donald Trump. And he was looking directly at a man that was seated like opposite him, yeah, in a stretch limo, yeah, mm -hmm. and it was a general and I saw stars. And then all of a sudden the building behind, so the general was looking through, like through beyond Trump at this mm -hmm. building and all of a sudden the building exploded, just exploded and Donald Trump was just sitting there and he just looked at the general and he just went, okay, job's done. But, like, not triumphant, you know, just, okay. Finished. Job's, job's done. Job's done. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So that was that. Then recently, oh, this, one's, this one really, really threw me. Recently, again, I'm focusing in on, like, Hollywood, Beverly Hills, all around that area, yeah? Mm -hmm. And like, a like how a genie comes out of a bottle, yeah, 
Um, it's like um, the devil came out from the ground and like to about like the knee, the knee area was still in the ground, was laying over the top of the land, yeah, mm -hmm. and said, these are my people, okay, these are my people. And then I saw military yeah, and military people were going and knocking on houses, on the doors of houses, and taking people away. Then I saw a, like, a legal system, like the judge, yeah, and and there was this, this one particular, it was like that, what I zoomed in on was like a man that was standing and was and the judge was going through papers yeah and he's reading through the papers and somebody that was there said to the judge right so do we take this one away and he said no 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 this one this one can stay because this one changed this one chose to go along God's pathway. So that one stays, that one doesn't go. I mean, like, it's hello, Comet. <laughs> I know, but I mean, that's, and that's what, I mean, is Hollywood, I mean, I know you have ties to Hollywood. I actually lived in LA for a little while, so I know that whole, and there are some deep, dark stuff going on there even though i wasn't personally exposed to it i saw stuff around me that now yeah i wasn't like i wasn't either but it's like i'd love to talk to mel Kay at some point in time because i know that you know like mel was you know strongly connected there but i said to the thing that was really bizarre you know and i like in regard to always listen to your gut feeling because i'd had so many people over the years because i started going to la back in 1987 that's how far, yeah? Mm. And and I would go over and, I, you know, I practically lived there for a while with, you know, with one of your famous singers. Um, but the thing is, is that they would go, oh, this person wants to have their soul reading charts done. And I'd go, oh, okay. And they go, so, you know, like, here's their number. So, you know, and I'd go, no, don't give me their number, no. And they go like, 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 why well, go? No, don't want to read for them. Well, yeah. No. Yeah. No. 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 So I'd only read for certain people. Yeah. yeah. And then people here in Australia would say to me, why are you still living here? Why aren't you over there? And I go, what do I want to go and live over there for? And they went, well, you could be famous. You could have your own show and that. And I go, what do I want to be famous for? <laughs> I'm doing my work. Yeah. Yeah. And I've got family here. You yeah. know, I've got my daughter here. And, you know, and then people over there would go like, why don't you move over? You've got to be here. You've got to be here all the time. You just can't come in and out and expect for things, you know, to keep on going. You've got to be here. You've got to be here. You've got to be on call. You've got to be here. I thought, no. Nah. I was going, no, no, I don't want to live here. No, not interested. Yeah. I said, I'm happy to visit. I don't happy miss to, it. Yeah. <laughs> happy to visit, you know, like, and I've had wonderful times and met some, you know, like amazing people and been on like, was on entertainment tonight a lot. Mm -hmm. um, did a very interesting one and it's, it's fascinating because we've got, on the 6th of June, I've got the Heal Your Heart seminar happening here in Australia. And so we're just looking at the website at that particular page and they've got a snippet on there with me being interviewed on Extra about Megan and Harry, which is very, very interesting, yeah? Yeah. Because, yeah, because um, the way I explain, when I look at soul charts, it explains to me about the soul. 
But as I say to people, and then they talk about, well, what, what's our free will? I said, your free will is whether you're going to follow God's way or whether you're going to follow what my father used to say was like, if you make money your God, it's like, you're, you know, it's going to take you nowhere. So if we look at that, like fame and money is like the negative. It's going down down the the black hats. You know, yeah. that's the black hat path. And yeah. this over here is the white, you know, is the white. So I look at charts and both Megan and Harry are what I call master souls. However, they've been given a choice. So you can be a master soul that's come onto the planet to make a huge difference and to support people with enlightenment. But if you decide that what you want to do is the money and the fame, then what that's going to do, that's going to change the whole of the energy mm -hmm. of that soul vibration that is inside of you, and then it's like you're going to be totally like out of whack. Yep. Yep, but it's, like, oh, it's fascinating. It is it's fascinating. fascinating. That's a lot. My boyfriend studies the, the law of one bra that was channeled in the eighties A lot about mm -hmm. that, that you have service to self or service to others. And if yes. you're a higher density being that's come back to a third density world to help shift mm -hmm. the vibration to positive, but you get pulled to the negative. It's more, yeah. it gives, it feeds the negative more because that's you're it. like a, a prime, you're prime meat. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So that was yeah. a win for And like, and I say yeah. to people, like I say, and I say to them, if the chart is the chart of a master soul and you go down this path down here, it's like the energy of that is a hundredfold. Mm -hmm. If you're doing here, the energy of that is a hundredfold. So you can be the worst. You, I mean, yeah. Worse, worse than those that come in that are of a basic soul vibration. Yeah, it's absolutely. like it's, yeah. it's it's so it's so interesting. It's it so is. interesting. Yeah. Well, and that's what I know. Raw says, and I know the Bible. Like the, uh, it, we're at this this precipice right now where there's basically like two timelines going on, and each are fighting for death. But we know the good is going to win because we are mm. destined to be a positive planet. But but it, we're seeing this death brawl between these two polar opposite energy forces that are equally powerful to an extent. And it's this, the human soul is the one that feeds it depending on where they go. Yeah, absolutely. They, did you, um, the guys were saying, Charlie was saying um, tonight, I just, I watched something and with, um, with Simon Parks and they were talking about, I think it's 65%. Mm -hmm. Yeah, has to be 65%. So 65% that have woken up, as soon as we hit that, we're fine. Yeah, we're and we're like, what did they say, like 60, 64? We're like really close to hitting that. Very, very yeah, very close. Yeah. And, very, and I, will, very, very close. I will tell you, um, like we run a yoga shala here and like a lot of the yoga shalas around this area are making people show their their papers for their injection, um, wear masks, all that stuff. And we don't do any of that. We don't, we don't even allow masks. We won't let people wear masks to practice because it's bad for them. And we, we tell if you have a problem with that and you shouldn't be practicing with us, basically. Sorry, mm -hmm. we're, no, we're just going to run it normally here like we always did. And I will tell you, it's been a struggle since we, re we reopened before lockdown even technically ended. We just went and opened. Um, and, but lately, we're picking up more and more and more students because they're tired of having to go to these other studios where they're required to have their temperature taken, it's so invasive. So it's like, even if they're not totally awake yet, I can say, yeah, there's they, they, internally, they've already, yeah, it's made that starting. decision that, yeah. that they're done. They're done with the yeah. charade, you know, Absolutely. And, yeah. and that's so exciting to see that because it's, it's, um, it's, yeah, they're just, they're, they don't care what we teach. They just want to come to a place where they can be treated like a normal human being and not yeah. be, have be invaded with all this stuff. So yeah. they're starting to see the truth through the illusion. Even if I don't think they realize it yet, that's what's starting, starting it's to happen. Starting. It's starting. Yeah. It's starting. It's starting to move, you know, which is like, which is really, really exciting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Really, really exciting. But with me, it's like, I've just walked around with no mask on. 
Yeah, yeah, <laughs> same. And same. like, and and like, and nobody, nobody says anything. Yeah. Nothing. But then I've learned to do a thing which is called invisible. Yeah. So I just do this whole, yeah, and I've done it, it, you know, right throughout the whole of my life. When I want to be invisible and I don't want anybody talking to me, I know what it is that I need to do, yeah? Yeah. But, no, I would be like with, you know, no, nah, not having it, and then I would go and they go, oh, we've got to do your temperature up here, and I go, no, nah, I've had it, I've got a, a, a metal plate I've got a metal plate in here. I had a I had a car accident. I've got a metal plate in here, so you'll have to do my temperature on right my here. wrist. Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, come on. I, I had that happen to me one time. I walked into a shop, and without me even knowing it, the lady just shoved this yes. reader, and it was so. And that's your pineal gland. Like that's such. I a, know. A, I know. Part. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's what they're doing. It's like let's attack it. Let's attack it. Let's like zap that one area that's so, they're trying, they're really desperately trying to cut us off from source. They're mm -hmm. desperately trying to not allow us to feel, I don't know if many people even know, like you said, their gut feelings anymore. Like people, no, especially women, we've been told when we follow our yeah. gut that we're crazy or unstate, you know, it's like, um, and a woman's intuition, in my opinion, is really strong because they're, women are mothers, you that's know, right. and they have to have that, that. So, yeah, and I've heard that with the, the cure that people are being kind of cut off mm -hmm. from, from the divine source, which I'm hoping Absolutely. there's an antidote that, do you think that an antidote will be released once everything is flipped? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. For those that have, I think, um, first, the first lot of people that will get it will be people who were forced to get mm -hmm. it. Yeah. You know, like um, like a, a friend of mine works in the, in the medical field here um, and his daughter has become a nurse and, I mean, she's 18. Mm -hmm. So all of these young girls, 18, all, have all had to have it. You know, and it's, it's, oh, it's like, you know, like don't get me started. Yeah. That's because, still they, they, because they call them like first line. But here in Australia it's like we're not wearing masks anymore. Nobody's wearing masks. It's like we're like that's over and done with here, good. Um, like which is really good. But the interesting thing is, is that I'll still go down the street and there'll be people with masks on, and I'm going, "You are an idiot. Mm -hmm. Are you for real? We've been told <laughs> we don't have to wear them anymore, and you're still wearing them." <laughs> It's yeah. like, oh, my God, what Santa Slay are you people trembling on, honestly? And the breath is so vital to our spiritual life as well. At most religious, Absolutely. Most, the Bible even says God breathed life into man. That first mm -hmm. breath you take, that anointing of consciousness that comes into you mm -hmm. with that breath, and to cut that off. Mm -hmm. I know my sister, I have a niece and a nephew who are in elementary school, and she pulled them out of their county school, public school, and put them into a private school just because of not, she did not want them wearing a mask all day. Because right. it, the yeah. oxygen not getting to the brain. It's just there's so, right. so much. And I can't yeah. get over how people cannot, don't know how to critically think anymore. They don't. No, know they don't. Work. They don't because they've been so programmed. Right. Follow the. Yeah, and like, I, like I say to people, it's like how many, how many times when you have looked at the news from when COVID, what did you see in the background was like this, this, this thing that was supposed to be a COVID virus thing, yeah. you know, like. And you just got hit with it, hit with it, hit with it, hit with it, you know, like all the time. And like you heard me say on Nicholas when I was driving up the freeway, like, mm -hmm. oh, go away, cancel, cancel, <laughs> idiots, yes. idiots. That's what I do because I see the signs on the freeway driving to get, you know, lucky you, you're now eligible to get this beautiful shot we've provided you with for a virus that has a 99.9% .9 survival rate <laughs> because, because, it's a conspiracy now to believe that you actually have an immune system. <laughs> um, and every time I see that now, I'm like, nope, nope. I'm not nope. a part of this experiment. I'm, nope. I don't consent. I cancel you. Yes. Yeah. 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 And, yeah. Um, and it's, it's, it's just, it's, I mean, sometimes I feel sorry. I, mean, I know that God is not human and God is so loving and light and something we can't even totally comprehend because it's just so much more magnificent than what our brains can comprehend. But sometimes I think God must be sitting up there going, what? <laughs> I gave you a brain for a reason. I gave you critical thinking skills for a reason. <laughs> Use them, please. Mm -hmm. um, 
And even like we here in Georgia, we have the Georgia Guidestones and three hours away from yes. where an hour away from where I live. Yeah. I've been there multiple times and it's, it's an actual physical evidence. You can touch it. And I mean, you can see it, right? It's the middle of a cow field and it's I like, know. look at the first commandment. Mm -hmm. Why would they spend all this money to put these granite stones up in the middle of nowhere, Georgia, which somebody told me, and I have to check, but it's like 666 miles from Washington, D.C. Oh, my God. I haven't checked it yet, but I, that doesn't surprise me. Um, Ted Turner apparently is, was involved with that. He's from Atlanta. His TBS studio, which is just down the block from me, has a golden owl on top of it, which is the same owl yes. that's at Bohemian Grove. That's at... Yes. Yep, Epstein Island. I know. Um, I know. Now, hey, did you did you see um, the demolition of the um, the mansion uh, of the no of the dome the dome building on Epstein Island? I saw it afterwards. Was there a yes a seventeen? Yep. Yep. Yeah, it's like they've done. Yep, they've taken like they've taken that down, stamped it. It's yeah, like yes. Yes. Do you think the truth behind number 17 will come out for people who think it's just a quack conspiracy? And do you think that they'll reveal that to the public? I think they will. That it was I think literally they will. But it need, but it, Yeah, but it, need, it needs to be like at a certain time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like it, it will all be, everything will be, I'm just I'm sitting here and I'm laughing because I'm thinking of this this you know this this huge huge container ship yeah <laughs> 200,000 pound container ship that went off course because <laughs> there was a really bad wind a, a wind yes I mean and I just and I and I wrote on social media are you for real and a guy wrote, obviously you've never been on a ship down the Suez Canal when when it's blown a gale. And I went, oh, mate, you have got a big problem. Yeah, I mean. I yeah. mean, hello, Comet. I mean. Yeah. Uh, and the fact that it drew. Yes. When it drew, when it. <laughs> As Charlie Ward said, that's a couple of white hats being naughty. I know. Having a couple of giggles while they're uh, up. <laughs> and yeah. that was, and people don't realize the timing. That was over Passover, which was the parting of the Red Sea, which that is the Red, like we keep saying these Red Sea moments that are happening yeah. that can only happen. And I believe, and I know a lot of people watching believe that we are getting assistance from like the Galactic Federation. I believe that there, it's not just human beings that are in this battle, that it's every every dimension of being but 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 aren't you aware that the pyramids were actually built by men aren't you aren't you aren't you aware that that's how the pyramids it's like that it's a man it's a man made like oh like hello. Oh, come on. i mean hello <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah um, really really so how did they do it how did they do right. it? You know, can you explain to me how they oh i don't know but it's like you know it's and apparently they're just tombs that's all they are they're just tombs just tombs it's just a fancy yes. burial plot that's all it is yeah well, I'll, I'll ask you too this is something we've been exploring on my channel is the hollow earth theory with agartha that is a kingdom that lives beneath in inside of our earth that is like lizard people um reptilian people look look do you know what do you know what's really really interesting um why oh, i think it was back in the 80s if not the early 90s um, a red Indian by the name of Robert Morning Sky toured Australia, and he, like he was like he was fascinating, and he said, "Listen, this is what's going to be happening. You all of a sudden are going to be watching movies with dragons." Mm -hmm. 
movies with um like creatures that are half human half animal you are going to experience like lizard sort of like looking people i mean he laid it all out and he said and this is going this is going to occur to get all of the public all over the world prepared for what's going to be exposed. Now, you know, like I'm a Capricorn, so look, I'm pretty practical and logical and it was like, oh, yeah, okay, all right. But he talked about reptilians. Mm -hmm. He talked about the greys. Mm -hmm. um, he talked about extraterrestrials because he was a, a Hopi. Mm -hmm. Right, his Hopi and his grandfather taught told him the story about when um when the spaceship fell when this yeah fell from out of the sky yeah. and they and the grandfather and all of the leaders went to where there was this you know like this explosion this accident something this this vehicle. And um, and they found um, like extraterrestrials in in this in this flying saucer. So to them, to the Hopis, it's like that's normal. That's like duh. <laughs> that, was, that was just everyday life. That yes, but of course. And then of course, um, then in came the army. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and like and packed it a lot and like and took it away and. Just you know, they were bound to silence. Yeah, bound to I, silence. You're not, you're not allowed to tell anyone. Yeah, yeah. I went down that rabbit hole with blood types as well. I, I'm RH negative, and the RH negative blood type. Uh, a lot of the scientists I looked at, they called us a different species because mm -hmm. we don't have the rhesus factor in our blood, which is the monkey, the monkey rhes monkey blood. And it's like, well where did this come from? If this person can't even, if I were to get pregnant with an RH positive baby, my body would want to abort it because it doesn't recognize it as anything that my body is. And, um, and I've been going down that rabbit hole like crazy. And at this point, I think we're all just a combination of different extraterrestrial beings, a hodgepodge of yeah. Yeah. so much yeah. we have that we can do that they have dumbed us down they say we have 97 percent junk dna well god doesn't make junk so that's right what can we how powerful are we what yes, is it that they have not allowed us to to learn about ourselves and our own heritage as human well, beings? coming well it, it's coming it's coming because the thing is it's like yeah and i said to someone the other day like every morning I, like i get up i get into the car and I go to get my my almond almond my organic almond milk latte made with organic coffee, made with uh, like a like a, in a machine that's got filtered water that's uh -huh. not clean chemicals. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I get in my car and then I call my girlfriend. Yeah, mm -hmm. and she'll answer. I go. So what's happening today? Where are we at? Oh, now this so and so's done this, and and there's um, this one's talking about this. It's like it's a really good one. I'd recommend that you have a look at that one. You'll enjoy that one. Yeah, and we, you know, we have like all of these like conversations like every morning in regard to okay, how are we going? Where are we at? Yeah, and you know, and I said to them all, I said we are getting really close now. You know, it's like my girlfriend Helen. I go, how are you? She goes, oh, I'm so tired. I'm tired. You know, and, you know, same, and I say, same. Yeah, yeah. And I, you know, and I say to her, I go, well, you know, I always thought to myself, how lucky you are that you've got a husband that works and you don't have to work. But quite honestly, I'm looking at myself right now and going, how lucky am I that I work because I've got to keep busy. Yep. Yeah. So she's just like she's living this like all the time yeah and you know so then she tells me like where where we're actually at but I think the thing that's disturbed me the most at the moment is that how all of our like our truthers and everybody that has actually supported supported us all on this journey are being attacked mm -hmm. yeah 
but not like not attacked from people who don't believe, but I'm talking about people that should know better. Yeah. That should know better. And 100%. I just and I wrote something here in Australia today in, or yesterday in regard to a post, somebody's comment about um, a situation here where this person was attacking Charlie Ward, um, like um, who else? Um, Michael Jaco, it's like, hello, Comet, are you for real? Michael Jaco, you're attacking Michael Jaco. Um, and it's, and I mean, it was just unbelievable. And I just said, bravo, round of applause. You are doing exactly what the cabal want you to do, mm -hmm. is to turn on each other. You've fallen for it, guys. Yeah. You've fallen for it. Yeah. And it's just like unbelievable. And it's like if we cannot stick together and support, mm -hmm. support each other through this, this journey we have up until like recently mm -hmm. when somebody that was out there that was like, like supporting and giving information out turned mm -hmm. on these other people and I'm going, are you for real? Like, and I often say to people, you know, when they judge, yeah, I go, um, excuse me, excuse me, can you fill me in on something because I'm not quite sure. Um, when did God resign and ask for you to fill his place? <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. I'm going to use that, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When did he resign and choose and choose you out of everybody? God, you must be really special that yeah. he chose you, you, to fill his place. Yeah. I, I, I 100. You know, and the thing about us in this on this side of the board is we're trying to, well, most I feel like we're, not there are a few of us that are bad apples obviously they've shown their colors but i think most of us are really trying to work together you know yeah. and, and help each other along and mm -hmm. um and i always say like with truthers with charlie ward with all the people in our community david dublick everyone like we're going to get more things right than the mainstream media is the only thing right on the mainstream media is the time in the corner that's it right. so oh, do, you, do you know this and do all of your 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 followers know this, okay? You ready for this? Yes. Mm -hmm. So these are the these are the companies that control ninety percent of the media. Disney, mm -hmm. GE, Comcast, Warner, CBS, News Corp, and Viacom. All entertainment. <laughs> they're the, they're they are ninety percent control, ninety percent of the media. And what was so interesting is that their their points for the day that they are given comes through the company Gannett, G A W N E W T, and Gannett is ruled and run by the CIA. There you that's, go. I thought you'd like that one. That well, you know, it's funny. I I have done. I've gone on Charlie's Ward a couple of times. Charlie Ward show a couple of times because we discovered that Tyler Perry Studio here in Atlanta has a full functioning White House. Oh, don't you love him? And yeah. I saw that. Mm -hmm. I saw you on that. Yeah. yeah. And then that's I said, to, then I said to my girls, I go, this gorgeous lady that was on talking about Tyler Perry with Charlie. I said she's got in contact with me and wants to interview me. Yeah, of course. Yeah. We're all, we're all, I mean. But, but I mean that and that Tyler Perry, it's like, oh, my God. But yes. one thing, I was, I was watching something last night and, oh, it's like I watch, I'm a great one for like I watch a lot of DVDs, yeah. Uh -huh. I watch a lot and a lot to do with documentaries, and it's like you can ask me anything about the Kennedys. You can ask me about that DVD, that DVD, that, that, that I've got the whole lot, and I spend my time 
looking at and then looking at them again and again. But it had CBS. And have a guess what CBS's logo. I looked and I went, oh, my God. What, is it the eye? It's an eye. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. It's an eye. And, you know, and you look at it and you go, but here we are. We have now become awake. Mm-hmm. And we've become awake to all of these things. And something something came up and it was in regard to, I don't know where I saw this. It was in regard to a young girl singer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what was being shown in the background was all everything to do with the cabal and what she actually sings they she is given that this is what you are going to record and this is the key that you're going to do this in and now we're going to do this video of you and this is what you're going to wear and the background is going to be this and this and this and this yep so so the young kids that are following these young singers are getting caught up in all of this. They're being programmed Mm -hmm. because it's like, you know, well, she's, you know, she's, she's great and and I love her, but they don't realize like with like Lionel Richie time, like he, he wrote his own songs. He composed them. Yep. Yeah. So like Michael, Michael composed his own songs. Mm -hmm. You know, hardly ever did Michael sing a song that wasn't written and produced by him. Yep. Lionel, written and produced by Lionel Richie, and that meant that he made all of the money. Right. (laughs) Yeah, Because he did, did like, everything. But, like, all of this that's going on now, and I got, I became quite emotional I think it was on one of, I think it was Nicholas on the sh- one of the shows with Nicholas and I became quite emotional and I said, you know what, it's like here, here are all of these people that have got this God-given talent. God has gifted them with this most incredible voice, with the ability to like to, to act, with the ability to do like whatever in the creative sphere and they are being compromised, that the only way that they can do their craft, that they can use that voice to do the acting, is that they've got to do it this way. They've got to do it that way. You've got to be a part of this. I mean, it's just that that for me is like heartbreaking, yeah, and the same like with... The same with do did you ever do you ever watch Primey, Prime Minister, P R Y M E, gorgeous oh, guy. Oh yes, 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 Prime. Yes, I, I thought. Prime yes, Prime I love Prime him. Prime. I thought you were talking about a TV show. Yes, I do. I yeah, love yeah. him. Yeah. Yes. He on one of his um on one of his shows he was saying that one of his close friends is the son of James Brown. Oh wow. Okay, and he was saying that. Michael Michael Jackson would actually call James Brown. I'm pretty sure it's James Brown, you know, like please, you know, forgive me, Prime, if I've got that wrong. Um, and he would ring him and say, how can we do our talent? How can we be our creative selves without having to without having to, to be caught up in the Illuminati? How can we do it? How can we get away? How can we get away and just be our creative selves without that? You know, and there he was so very, very brave when he got that, when he took that mic, he took to the stage with his microphone and he mm-hmm. said, Tommy Minolta is the devil. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. And didn't in that same, in that same uh, speech, isn't that when he said the best is yet to come? Yes. That, that Trump has said a and lot. He, yep. And he said, thank you. And he also said, thank you, Diana. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. Oh yeah. It's like I like I can't I can't wait. Me I too. Can't, 
I am so excited for us. As Charlie says, we're going into such a beautiful time. And I, and somebody else compared to like having a baby and I've never had a child, but like I've, I've been in the room where my sister was having a baby and the amount of pain and the look on her face, birthing her child. But then the minute that child came out and it's like the whole room just changed. And it was like, all of a sudden, everybody wanted to hug that baby. And it was like, she looked like she just metamorphed after this awful grueling labor into the, being this mother of this beautiful perfect child and mm-hmm. i feel like that that somebody compared is that what we're, that's what we're going through right now we're like in the yeah. birthing process yeah. where um where we're want to punch our husbands and you know <laughs> <laughs> want all the good drugs to get through but once that yeah. baby is birthed It'll end and it'll all be, it'll all be worth it. It'll be worth the pain and worth the labor pains and worth the weight gain, and, you know, worth everything just to have mm-hmm. that little baby. Um, so, and I think Hollywood is going to still be around, but not, maybe not called Hollywood, but, but run by really good people who are actually looking for people. Yes. 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 And the thing is, it's like, you know, like even, Like people have sent me through, you know, like pictures of different celebrities and stuff doing all of the symbolism and things, you know, and, you know, and as I said to them, you know, I said, you're looking at that and I said, but they are told Mm -hmm. to do that. Yep. They're told to do that. There are some of them that are into it Mm -hmm. up to their ears, up to their eyeballs, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But there are a whole lot of them that are not. And it's so really not please, go, at all. Please, yeah. don't, please don't chunk them all in together yeah. because they don't deserve that. No. They've just got themselves in this situation and they're creative and they want to be able to express their talent and they've basically been manipulated you know, to to do certain things in order for the Illuminati to then have whatever it is that they're wanting to do, whatever yep. that agenda, whatever that agenda is to do with the people that are creative. So I can't wait mm-hmm. to when everything falls falls away and these people can just express their God given talent out mm-hmm. there in the world without without being controlled by this evil yeah oh me too i'm so excited i know you're right because after when i lived in la there are so many people out there that are so unbelievably talented that really Mm -hmm. just want to show their talent and that's art any type of art is our connection to each other it's how why we still read shakespeare we human beings have so much in common with each other and and that's that 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 key element that connects us all and and it will be a beautiful time for for people in the entertainment industry in that music movies to be able to i'm i'm happy for kids who are in movie school right now because they're going to be walking into an opportunity where they're going to be able to literally just make movies they don't that's have to it. sell their soul you know they, they can just, yeah it's it's yeah. it's exciting for the future and um and I know it's getting late for you in Australia and I know you're probably getting tired. Um we would love to have you come back. We do you oh, want to I'd back? love to come back. I'd love to come back. Um and it's just that like people if they're going through a difficult time over there, yeah, it's like with like being on Nicholas's show, it's like there's been a lot of people that have made contact with me. They've had their soul charts done. Um, yes. A lot of them have like downloaded the recording for the mm-hmm. clearing of the negative emotions to keep them, you know, like clear. Mm-hmm. You know, I just say to them, you've got it. You have to keep yourself clear of the negative emotions. You know, you, you know, like you can't, you can't allow yourself to fall down that. Yeah, to get into that. But it's like when, um, when we, when the COVID was first started and everybody went into lockdown. It's like I said, right, okay, and I put that up, and it was it was a gift. I think you I think you downloaded it, did you? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's when I found you. Um, that's when that, you found me. Yeah, and I, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. put all of that, all your links down in the description box because I really want your teachings to get out to everybody that watches me as well because you are such a gift. What you teach and all that stuff is 
such a gift to to the world right now. This is that your your friend was right. You really uh, this thirty years of doing this, you were repairing people, and now it's like your time to shine. Like, it's like, and it's and, you know the thing that's really really weird is that I started doing people's charts forty years ago. Yeah. Uh huh. And then I was doing this journey and did a whole lot of work on myself, and then I got. Hmm. Right. So I've done this and done this and done this. And then I ended up in Hawaii doing study with the kahunas. And then I heard, mm -hmm. I learned all of the, the Hawaiian healing aspects and the healing techniques. Yeah. And then Uncle George Naopi on the big island of Hawaii, who was the kahuna of the, of the hula. Uh -huh. Yeah, and they used to have big hula conventions, yeah. And um, when I went and did the study, it's like I, I worked, I studied like with him being like the, like the guru, yeah, mm -hmm. and learned chanting, his chants, his ancient Hawaiian chants that were handed down through his lineage, yeah. And then he said to me, um, after doing four trips over there and doing more and more study and getting more and more, like, in depth in regard to how human beings work and how the spirit works and the energy works, yeah, and it's like, and he said to me, he said, right, girly, girly, um, you're going to go back and you're going to teach. And I went... Okay, all right. And he said, you're going to work with groups of people. Mm -hmm. And he said, and you'll do this work. You'll do this work. And it's to free them of all of their fear and all of their negative, you know, beliefs so that they become empowered, they become connected to themselves and the source. I went, okay. And he said, yes, you're going to do it groups groups and I went groups I'm going to do this with groups he said yes I went okay all right okay I don't know, whatever you know so like so I came back to Australia and then I was doing some work with people one-on-one -on -one and they said to me like well my friend wants it and this one wants it and that one wants it and somebody else wants it so then I sat with a group of my friends and I just went, right, now this is what was said to me in Hawaii. Here I am now. This is what they're asking. Um, and I went, yeah, you really need to teach. We, you know, we really need to do this, you know, for groups of people. I went, okay, all right, okay. So <laughs> then I did, my first, I did my first seminar in December of 1991. Oh, wow. Yeah. And and people say to me now, was that was it your plan to do these? No. Nah. It was nah. God's plan. It wasn't, plan. it wasn't my plan. And they went, well, how did you know, you know, like to continue? And I went, well, people from the first one, people changed so much that when they went back to family and friends and work, people wanted to know what they had done. So they told them. So I said, so then those people wanted to do it. And so then I thought, oh, I suppose I better do another seminar. So I said to my team, you ready to do another one? They went, yeah, okay, great, okay. So we did another one. And then we did another one. And then we did another one. And then we did another one. Yeah. And people sort of asked me, you know, to this very day, it's like, well, how much, is your, how much do you pay for advertising? What's your promotional budget? I go, I don't have one. Yeah. And they yeah. went, what, it's just left open? And I go, no, I said, no. I said, people just turn up. I said, I don't advertise. I said, when you're in a line, just feel. When you're just feel. your purpose, it doors open for you. Yeah. yeah. And I just go, and like in this one, and I dance around the room, you know, I just go, oh, my God, like, thank you, God, thank you. <laughs> yes. Thank you for choosing me to do this work. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Because I, I mean, we even had a little five-year-old in this last oh. program came in, came in with her mum. We had fifteen-year-old kids coming in with their dad. You know, they and their the parents are divorced, separated, mm -hmm. and the kids are going through this trauma. So they come in and they just be de-traumatized, and they just 
they're happy, happy little kids. I wish I had had this when I was a child. That's a lucky child. Me too. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> to start that young at, with this knowledge. Yeah. And also, yeah. On my channel, we've talked a lot about like what Nasara means and what that's going to mean for us to totally flip into a new financial system. And the fact that we are so used to having to work to survive that we've yes. kind of forgotten what what to work, what our Dharma really means. And a lot of my uh, subscribers will email me and be like, cause I'll say like, well, what did you like to do when you were a kid? Like if you didn't have to worry about money, what would you, what is what it? What would you, you do? Yeah. People don't, they can't remember. Like, did you draw as a kid? What did you like to do? And mm. I think something like a soul reading to have the, and, and to kind of get back to them for yeah. my people watching, reach out because this is a way for you to kind of reconnect with the essence of who God created you to be before to you be. got so yep. changed yep. up. And I, have a lot, and I have a lot of people like over the 40 years of doing readings, but uh, I can remember with Lionel Richie, yeah, and when I, when I met him, it was so funny. And um, the guys had come in, went into a, 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 an exclusive menswear store that, that were touring, yeah, and they walked in and this girl that I had helped was in there working and she went, ah, oh, dancing on the ceiling to her. They go, yeah. And she goes, ah, oh, do you know Wacker? And they went, yeah, <laughs> why do you? And she goes, no, no. Now, Wacker is William King from the Commodores, yeah? Mm -hmm. No, no, but it's like... But a friend of mine actually did a reading for him and they went, what's her name? And she said, Tamara, and they go, what's her number? Because we've heard about her. So apparently the Commodores went back and this was be this was after Lionel had left, yeah? Mm -hmm. So then, then the guys just went, right, and then they called me and then I went in and I did readings on all of them and they kept on going to Lionel and Brenda and saying, you got to you you got to see this woman you got to talk to her it's like she's freaky she's really <laughs> yeah and so no don't believe in it don't believe in it don't believe in it don't believe in it yeah and i'm i and i'm able to to talk about lionel because he's actually mentioned me in the press and he's told the press in this you know that was something that they actually did tell the truth mm -hmm. yeah it was the truth what they wrote um and then, um, then the last concert here in Melbourne, the guys rang me and they said, right, full names of birth, this is it, this is this, this is it, this information about them, that. Anyway, I did it, recorded it all, went to, they said, come to the concert. So I went to the concert uh, with my assistant and they said, come backstage, you've got backstage passes. So I went backstage, walked in, Randy, who is the keyboard player, said, have you got them? I go, yep. And I gave them to him and then he disappeared. He came back and he said, "What? he wants to see you. I went, what? He said he wants to see you. I said, but he doesn't believe in this. <laughs> yeah. He said, you know, to all of you guys that they don't believe in what it is that I do. And he said, well, he wants to see you. He said, what did you write on the sheet of paper? Because he opened it and read. And I said, Oh, I said, I just, I, what I wrote, and this was really interesting because I just sat and I said, okay, God, what do you want me to write? And what I wrote was, God gives each and every human being with a talent. Yeah? Your thank you to God is to recognise it and do something with it. His thank you to you is all that you achieve and more. And he read it and said, go get her. So then he said, you know, come. And I went, okay. So back then I used to wear like white jumpsuits because somebody said that I came from another planet and that's why I used to dress that way. Um, and, you know, and I'm only like five foot one. Yeah, so it's like I'm short. I'm the same height as Nicole Richie. So the both of us wear really, really high heels. Anyway, so I opened up the door. And Lionel was on the other side of this room and Brenda was sitting over here and opened up the door and he turned around and he looked me up and down and he went, you're her? 
And I said, yes. He said, but, he said, but you're little. And I went, yes. <laughs> and he said, and you're normal, like normal. And I went, yes. And he said to me later, he said, I expected you to be about 20, like 20 stone and to wear like I have a caftan and like and a thing on your head, yeah. But we sat down and we sort of, you know, like, and he said, hi, I'm Lionel. I go, yeah, I know. And then we sat down and he introduced me to Brenda and Brenda was like, you know, like very, very pleasant but very distant, yeah. And he said, first of all, before you get into saying anything about all of this, he said, I just need to let you know that I don't believe in this. Yeah, I don't believe in what you do. Okay, that's cool. I said, I'm not a fan of yours and I don't have any of your records. So does that make us even? And he just looked at me and laughed. She looked at me and she laughed and she said it was then that I went, okay, all right, she's not a fan. She doesn't, you know, she hasn't got him up on a pedestal, you know. It's like so that was that. So then I went through, you know, the charts and stuff and then all of a sudden I said something and he said, hold on a minute, can you just repeat what you just said? I went, sure. And I repeated it and he looked He looked at me, he looked at Brenda, Brenda looked at him, she looked at me and he said to me, how do you know that? And I went, uh, and I thought, uh-oh. <laughs> and I went, um, how do I know that? He goes, yeah, how do you know that? And I went, why? And he said, because there's two people on the whole of the planet that knows that, me and her. The only two. He said, so what are you doing now? And I went, what do you mean now? Like after this, what are you doing? I said, going home. And he said, you're coming back with us to the hotel. He said, we need to talk. So and that was it. And we've been close friends ever since. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. He's a good one. I, I, I feel like he's a good one. Um, yeah. So, yes, that's awesome. Yeah. I, I, so, I, so that's, so that's, what, that's what my charts are basically all about. It's about connecting people to their soul and what their soul has come here to do, you know, and people will sit and they will cry. And they will go, oh, my God, it's like you've just told me how I have felt all of my life. You just told me my whole of my life story of everything that is hap that has happened. And they've gone like, how do you know this? And I go, well, numbers talk to me. Yeah. You know, numbers talk to me, you know, and it's like and I was actually told, um, oh, yeah, when I, yeah, like when I was because, when my first marriage split up, I had my daughter was only two and a half, yeah? Anyway, somebody dragged me to a reading. Now, I was religious, you know, so you don't go and have readings done because that's the, the work of the devil, you know? Right. <laughs> um, and she said to me, she said, you're going to do what I do, but she said, but you're going to become a lot more famous, and she said, you're going to work with numbers, you're going to work with planets, you're going to work with, she said, you'll see things, you'll hear things, you'll have feelings about things. And she said, and you'll start with numbers, but she said, you won't study because you've actually worked with numbers way back in Egyptian time. And she said, and you actually, you had to, you worked with it and you um, interpreted like all of these like scrolls and, oh, I thought she was the weirdest thing on planet Earth. I mean, like I was separated, I was on a pension and I was cleaning houses to make ends meet. And I, yeah, sure, sure I'm going to be like you but I'm going to. And then she said, and then you'll get to a certain age and she said a very famous singer will tour Australia and you will work with him and he will take you back to America. 
she said. And, and it was also interesting because she said, and you're going to do something, you're going to do some sort of work, but that will be further on in your journey. And it's like you'll have an aeroplane and people will come on the aeroplane and they will be a certain way. And you'll take them on this journey in this aeroplane and then the aeroplane will land and they will they will leave the aeroplane totally transformed from who they were when they first stepped on the plane. It's amazing. And that's that's the seminar. Yeah, exactly. Yes, yeah, yeah. Um, well, I, my, our, we, we spent a lot of time in India studying with our teacher in, in India with yoga and um, the guru is since no longer with us anymore, but he used to say like for Westerners to take that journey all the time to go study, it means that you are, you are completing something you started in a prior existence. Yeah. You no, know? and it sounds like with the Egyptian thing, like there's a completion, you know, yes. and, and, and that's one thing yeah. I think a lot of the old religions, even in, in the missing gospels of the Bible that were taken out, were fact checked and censored from the Bible. Jesus talks yeah. about reincarnation and the fact absolutely. that yeah. absolutely, absolutely, yeah. yes. Yeah. And it was the, it was the meeting at Constantinople where they actually removed mm -hmm. the incarnation. Oh no, 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 no! We're not going to leave that in because no. that's going to make them be empowered. Yes, yes, exactly. Yes. Exactly. Yep. There's, I think someone said yep. there's 777 books that are supposed to be books. in the Bible. We got like mm -hmm. 60 of them. And yep. those were also altered as well to keep us right. vulnerable yep. and scared. And that's not mm -hmm. what Jesus, Jesus was teaching freedom, you know, mm -hmm. of a living God to live free, not of a death yes. cult, you know? Yeah, and so, and, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. So it's exci yeah. I'm excited for this great awakening and everything that's yeah. going to come. Yeah. And, so um, am I. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I, I'm going to put all of your stuff. So guys watching all of tomorrow's stuff is going to be down in the description box. You can go to her website. I'm going to put some of her old videos up with Nicholas as well. Cause I know she's addictive. So <laughs> I know you're he's gorgeous. Isn't he? <laughs> Yo, he's I know. So, I'm, he's so gorgeous. He's yeah. got a sweet smile on his face all the time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I just love him. But I just want to wrap, I just want to wrap with something. And this is something that my father shared with me. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, and, and I find that it's just so, it's so, so powerful. I was about eight and he said, and my nickname was Min because I used to laugh all the time. Yeah. And, and he said to me, hey, Min, and I go, yeah. and he said, just come outside for a minute. So I walked outside and he said, what are you standing on? I said, I'm standing on the ground. And he said, this is the floor of God's church. And he said, look up, what are you looking at? And I said, looking at the sky. And he said, that's the roof of God's church. And he said, and every day when you walk on the floor of God's church and you have the roof of God's church over you, just remember to be a good Christian. He said, going, going to a man-made church once a week does not make you a good Christian. Exactly. 100%. Mm -hmm. I love that. That makes me a little emotional. Yeah. 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 And God yeah. loves all people, everyone. Yeah. Everybody. Everyone. everyone. So here's, here's to our wonderful, wonderful, wonderful world mm -hmm. that is about to embrace us all. And thank God for Donald Trump. Amen. Amen. <sighs> There, we would not be, we would be screwed, literally. I, I, I mean, I get emotional thinking about him too because of all his family and him have gone through. And everything, everything that they have gone through, it's like, thank you, thank you, thank you so very, very much. I and hope one day I want My heart and everybody else's hearts, I hope that they feel this. I hope that they get this. I hope that they know how appreciative, like, you know, millions of people are feeling at this point in time on the planet for everything that that family has done. And that man is amazing. Amazing. I agree. I hope to be able to hug him one day. I, I just, I don't know how to thank him for the amount of crap and his, just his children too and uh, his, his in-laws, his 
daughter-in-laws and son. Like I just, I just, I, his grandchildren, just the, the sacrifices that they've literally made. And I know that they're protected. I know people say they see angels around him. Like I know that he is protected, but it is, a, it was a, yes, absolutely. And it's not just about America. It's the world. It's, it it's, is. It's, it's the world. Fun. It's the planet. It's, it's, the, the, it's the world, you know, yeah, like yeah, there's great. so many people here in Australia, they just, they just love him. But one thing that I used to do is that people would ring me, right? And they'd go, Tamara. And I'd go, yep. Uh, what's going on? And I'd go, what's going on? They'd go, yeah, what's going on? Gee, I don't know. Why? What's going on? And they go, there's something. There's something going on, and if anybody's going to know, it'll be you. I go, oh, okay, all right. So I go, so how are you? They go, yeah, yeah, I'm okay. I go, cool. So tell me something. They go, yeah, I go, what do you think of Trump? And they go, oh, yeah. And then I go, oh, yeah, okay, cool. Mm. Yeah, so, like, I'm not sure exactly what's going on. I said, but, you know, if I get anything, I said, um, I'll give you a buzz. And they go, oh, okay, cool. I go, see ya. They go, see ya. And this is what I said to all of my girls. I go, like, if people are saying and they go, so what do you think of Trump? And I said, as soon as you get a negative, I go, dismiss them. When people would go, like, oh, he's great, he's great. They, re- they misunderstand, he's so misunderstood and da-da-da, I go, great, have you got an hour? <laughs> and they go, they go, yeah, I go, right, sit down and listen. Because it's not just about and America. <laughs> and I go, da 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 and they go, oh, my God. And then I said, then I said, you go. And I said, you've got it. You've got to watch Janet Ubersad, and it's mm-hmm. about the cabal. It's the it's the taking down of the cabal. I said she's going to take you back to the fifteenth century. Yep. She's and I said you will. Yep. I said you will. I said you will freak out at some of the things. I said you will get extremely emotional mm-hmm. about some of the things. I said you'll nearly throw up about Mm -hmm. a lot of the things and I said and you will end up bringing me and you will say but it can't it can't be happening it could it's like no no it couldn't no that could not be yeah so I said so I am warning you and I said and there are 10 episodes take it easy do one then when you're ready, do the next. I said, and then after that, then there is the sequels. Mm-hmm. And I think she's up to number 11, sequel 11 at the yeah. moment, but she's got 17 sequels. Yeah. she's It's amazing. I, I, I give people that a lot too, that are people who are just like starting to wake up and are a little bit like disoriented. I'm like, just sit down. I send them the link. Um, I'd say the same thing you do. Don't try to watch it all at once. We watched it pretty much all at once, but we already knew a lot of the stuff because we had been following number 17 for a while. And my boyfriend grew up on military bases and he's had alien experiences. He knew what happened in September and 2001 was not what they told yeah. us. That he already knew that. That's where he kind of woke up. So, um, so, yeah. um, so that was, we I are. Mean, how, how, how challenging for all of those men and women that knew. Yeah, I know. Oh, God. And they weren't able to, they had, no. Mm -hmm. And who was the person in New York the next day that was on the streets of New York helping? Donald Trump. That's right. He was out there doing everything he could. He's, he, um, yeah. And I I often say to people, like, you know, this man is powerful when they attack him the way that they have. Yes. We've never yeah. seen this type of annihilation on a candidate. Do you know what happened? It's like I was talking to someone the other day and I was thinking, like, who was it? Because it's like, twi- you know, a couple of times like when I was in New York, but there was one of the girls that actually knew Donald Trump. She worked. She actually worked. She did some work and then, then another girl Another girl like knew him, but I did his charts, didn't I? Oh, oh yeah, really? oh yeah, yep. Yeah. I did his charts. I recorded it, 
and this girl knew his personal assistant. Yeah. So off we went, off we went to Trump Tower with the package with charts <laughs> and, and left them. Never heard anything back. <laughs> like, but how bizarre. And I went into the store and I bought this glass cube and inside the glass cube is the um, coat of arms for Trump. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's like and it's got like Trump on it or Trump Plaza or whatever it is. Yeah, and it's like it sits on my desk. Yeah. Amazing. It was like a God wink back, so back. All those all those years ago. Yeah. I'm sure he knows who you are for I'm sure I'm I'm sure he watches. I'm sure he knows who everybody is. And I'm sure because I'm sure he's super grateful for everybody that's standing up and trying to be like, no, listen guys, this is actually amazing what's happening this is yeah. there is yeah. no the normal's not coming back anymore and it's not because of what the right. deep state wants it's because we're moving into uh, the age of aquarius the golden age of thousand years of peace well we have we can go one or two directions we can either go That's great it. reset or in but we're going to yes. Sara. So, so you've got it you've got yeah. it and like i said to people people were talking to me about like money and so i went i've taken my money out of the bank and i've bought gold and silver yep Mm -hmm. yeah that's what i've done i've got gold and silver yeah he my you know, brother started doing that a while ago too yeah just yeah yeah yeah, yeah. the banks the i mean i'm by the federal reserve here in atlanta and it's been dead since last march there's no the cars are not in the parking garage like no one's there the only that's people it. that use that lot are dogs to go to the bathroom you know yep. it's it's yep but it, like it was so funny because i kept on going into my bank and i said um how, may, how much money am I allowed to withdraw a day? They said $10,000. I went, oh, God, okay. <laughs> and I said, so can you get like, you know, you know, you need to get this out. Anyway, so, and then the next time I went in, you know, I went up and I went, I said to him, I said, is it like, do I have to come back? Is it $10,000 a day? He goes, oh, look, how much have you got now? And I go, I've got that amount. And he went, he said, just come in, he said, you know, on Friday. He said, I'll have the whole lot for you. I said, thank <laughs> you. But, like, that he didn't even, but, like, with my clients that I've said to them, get your money out of the bank, mm -hmm. get it out of the bank and go buy gold and silver. Mm -hmm. Got it? And yeah. they've gone, okay, all right. And then they ring me and they go, my bank wants to know why I want the money. What because do you it's want your money. You should have a right to pull it what out. What do you want it for? And I said, did you say to them, it's my money? <laughs> it's my money why do i have to tell you what i want it for but one of the girls just said i've got a gambling problem <laughs> i've got a gambling problem oh i said oh you're a classic girlfriend yeah. you know i will say people on this side of the board all have sense of humor they're all everyone has a sense oh, of humor everybody looks too yeah, they have to. They everyone's intelligent. Everybody always looks so fresh and alive and awake. And I love it. That's awesome. I have a gambling yeah. problem. I'm gonna yeah. try that in my bank. Be like, I have a gambling yeah. problem. <laughs> yeah. You know, like what do you want? Like, what do you want this money for? It's like none of your business what right. I want it for. Right. It's your personal money. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. Absolutely. Yeah. And we we should have always been using gold and silver all along, but all along. absolutely. You know, but we're getting yeah. back on track. Thank you to yeah. the Trump family and, and and all the white hats all over the world that we mm -hmm. don't even all the militaries that have aligned. All the military. Oh my God! The military. The military. Yes. The, uh, the Navy SEALs. The Navy SEALs to the the parents and the families of those Navy SEALs. The six that were killed. Yeah. My heart just goes out to you guys. It's like heartbreaking just yeah. heartbreaking yeah. yeah and never again will our service men and women be treated this way because we oh. owe if we didn't have militaries in our countries then we would not have a country we would not have 
And we're and they're they're the people really fighting for our sovereignty, not just as Amer as Americans, but every country's sovereignty, because every human being is a product of God and deserves those inalienable rights given to us by God, not by the government, by God. So our lives. Uh, so yes, absolutely. Well, I know it's getting super late for you. Uh, I could I could keep you on all day. We could have an absolute. I've had an absolute ball. And we, just just send me just send me a message because yes. Nine Nine o'clock at night works for me really, Perfect. really well. Okay, good. Early, awesome. Early, more early morning with Nicholas. I'm like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Well, this works perfect for us too. I go, I go is my makeup okay? Do I look I'm not a morning person. <laughs> well, I'm glad. Well, I, yeah, I'm glad because I was worried about the time difference because of I, I've been to Australia before. I was back in the early 2000s. It is one of my favorite countries in the whole. Where did world. you go? Where did you go when you it came? It was two, I want to say either 2002 or 2003. Yeah, um, I, oh, I was in a Sydney. I was in. Um, Don't you love it? Yeah, I would. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I told my boyfriend, I was like, if I could move anywhere in the world besides, mm -hmm. you know, outside of America, I would move to Australia. I was like, that was the, I was there for like maybe a little over a month. Um, we traveled all up and down. We went to Wollongong, uh, a Sydney yeah. Opera House for the new year. Um, it was, yeah. I just, I want to go back so bad. It was yeah. my favorite place favorite yeah. favorite place on earth and i yes but hopefully soon we won't even have passports because we will be sovereign beings <laughs> got it. somebody said to me they went well if you don't have your vaccination you won't be able to travel i said i don't care yeah yeah absolutely i, I said i'm i'll stay home i don't need to travel i've done yeah. a whole lot of travel in my life i've had you know i've been so blessed yeah. and i i don't need to go anywhere yeah, I said, I yeah. Said, I said, I said, no, I said, they're not putting no freaking needle in my arm. Mm -mm. No, no. And it's not, and we know it's not going to last, but this, this whole, this whole thing is going to get taken. It's, it's a controlled demolition right now anyway. So, um, yeah. so yeah, don't, for people watching yeah. that are freaked out about that. Thing, it's like I was thinking about this the other day and I actually saw, I saw people lining up that it had the vaccination and they actually had another vaccination that counteracted yes. the one the one that they had. Yeah, that's, that's what, what I think is going to happen. That's what, I, that's what I saw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's sort of like it goes into the system and it's like, it's like with the what is the what is the spray stuff, and I've also got the um, the drops for it, Zeolite. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's like that. It's like it will have something in it that will go into the system, and it will attract all of the gunk that they've put in. It will attract it and pull it out, Sucks it, and then it will just be expelled out of the body. Good, because yeah. there are a lot of good people right now that are feeling pressured, are just trying to do what's what they think is right and they're good good people even though they're asleep they're still good people and it's like this can't we have to have an and i'm sure there's an antidote i'm sure that the the alignment yeah, I'm, I'm, getting, I'm, getting, I'm getting that that's going to that's that's come that that will be coming that will be happening yeah yeah that will be happening yeah and anybody that's got really really ill from it it's like they will go into med beds yeah yeah especially i know a lot of young women are having a period issues and uh, sterilization and I'm thinking the med beds would be able to correct yeah. that because that is part of their plan is to lower the population so so yeah so yeah. people watching who are freaked out about that I truly oh, no, no. Yeah. like just don't be yeah like, I don't think it's like you know we're we're all going to be okay we'll all come out the other side um however you know, as as Charlie Wood, Wood said, it's like there will be fatalities. Mm -hmm. There will there will be fatalities with all of this. Yeah, yeah. it's like you've got the military. There have already been fatalities there, um, so there will be fatalities. But as I say to people, listen to your gut feeling all the time. If you've got a feeling, don't go somewhere, it's called don't go. If right. you've got a feeling, make this phone call, make this phone call. If you get a feeling to, you know, like 
to just stay home. It's called stay home. Mm -hmm. Listen to your gut feeling because God's going to be giving us like warnings. Yes. Yes. So what to do, yeah. And yes. I and I talked about it like in the eighties, and I said we are going to be sent on safe journeys. But in order to know the safe journey, you have to be clear. Yeah. Yeah, because when you're clear, you are then a receiver and you will get the feeling, God, I've, I've got to go there, and you won't know why you have to go there. Yeah? Right. But you just know that you have to go. I've got to you'll go. Just trust it. You'll trust that there's a reason. You've got it. You've, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Well, we, I will send you an email. We will get you right back on again because I know my audience is going to just fall in love with you the way I have. So, so and again, guys, everything to, to reach tomorrow is in the description box down below. And also, also like, you know, get them to send questions into you. Yes, absolutely. Send me questions and we will, we will get the questions ready for the next show. Um, yes. Because yeah. as I say, I work with uh, Tara by Janine and Tom Numbers too. I always say like, when you have a divine access or an access to the divine, this is the real news because this yeah. is straight from the horse's mouth. So yeah, absolutely. And I think the thing is also like with people, don't worry about Trump because I kept on seeing a man in a, in a suit, but it was a blue suit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A blue suit. Yeah. Standing upright crown on the head. Yeah. Not president. No, not president, not president. It's like I never got, I've never got that, you know. I, and next time I'll do my cards. My my tarot cards are twenty seven years old. That's uh, a very powerful number, twenty seven. So they, here they are, my cards. Awesome. Uh, and I'll read them sometimes when I'm when I'm doing with Nick. Yeah, I go. Yeah. Do you want to do you want me to do the cards, Nick? Do you want me to see <laughs> what's going on? And we and one thing with Nick too. I have been putting it out there. I know he wants to interview President or interviewed Trump and I've been putting that out to the universe because there was there's nobody out there in this world that I would want to see have that position than Nicholas because he is such a sweet kid and, yeah. and I and yeah. we, I right. think we all just want him to have that opportunity so if you're listening Alliance yes. <laughs> make it happen for it. for our little our little boy our little I don't say little boy but I know he's younger than me little brother Nick over here because we yeah. all want to see we see that happen for him so yeah. um yeah. Awesome. Well, yes, guys, send me your questions and please go and look at all of Tamara's stuff. Reach out to her if you need a soul reading, if you just need some guidance. She is amazing and she has to help you with, to help you with the negative emotions. If mm -hmm. people, if you've got kids that are not sleeping, your kids that have got problems, it's like just on the in the products yeah. at the bottom, you can go and you just download it onto your mobile phone. Perfect. I'm actually probably going to send that to my sister because my niece and nephew are you know, that's been hard for these. It's been really hard for them. This has been child abuse for the children that they've all oh, they've gone through. And they don't, they don't need to be worrying about this adult stuff. They need to be kids. So I'm going to actually send that to my sister too. So, so, all right, I'll let you go. Have a wonderful Friday evening. Thank you, darling. Lots all of right. love.